Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, VR Sports. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the Benjamin Become a Legend series on PES 2020. The better game than FIFA for sure. How is everyone going through these days lately, man? I hope you guys are having a great time. And today's episode should be uploaded a little bit earlier than the one yesterday. Yesterday, we had a few technical difficulties. So today, just to make up for it, I'm going to upload this at 2 p.m. UK time, hopefully, despite the fact that it didn't reach the uh, 4,000 likes. So that was my fault. Today's episode is back to normal. If you want to see the next episode with Benjamin, boys, hit that like, all right? Let's get to 4K once again. We can do it. I believe in you. I will give you three seconds right now to do so because a lot of times people feel like, oh, I might miss something here if I don't do it. I, I could maybe miss something in the video. So go ahead. You have five seconds here. One, two... Three, four, five. Anyways, guys, I am glad to be back to Schalke. Schalke 21 points right now in the Bundesliga. And as you guys know, Benjamin has been doing a good job at Schalke. But lately, he has stopped scoring goals. His 100th appearance was against Bayern Munich. I didn't even realize, guys. And uh, sadly, in that game, we managed to miss a huge chance running forward. And it was a big opportunity. But... The growth has kicked in. Last episode, we have gone up by plus two, which made me so happy to see. I was incredibly satisfied with the fact that Benjamin is now ahead of his expected progress. Finally, we are back on track after spending a long time, as you can see, below the curve. So I'm glad that we are back up above it with Benjamin. So good things come to those who work hard and Benjamin has been working hard, finally scoring his first goal for Argentina and uh, putting his father onto the bench amazing amazing stuff for Benjamin now here are a couple of comments um, a young talent hunter says if the fans still call you the bullet make your main celebration a gun type celebration like Piontek the man from AC Milan good good shout by the way, I am legit spending half an hour now looking through 150 celebrations just to find the right one. This is going to take some time for me. Oh, God. So I have found one, guys. This is a celebration where he is pretending to have a gun in his hand. Number 37. Thank God I finally found one. I'm going to look for a different one as well. Oh, that's better. That is much better. You know what? That is going to become my main celebration. 56 is the one. I really, really do like that one. As the second celebration, I'm going to go for number 43. In case we score a special one, I want him to be as aggressively celebrating as possible. So this is the number one that we have. The bullet is shooting bullets. And this is the second one that we now have set up for Benjamin. Also, another comment coming in from Ian Luyuku. And he says, hey, Johnny, since Benjamin is now at a top club, big clothing labels would approach him. Maybe change his boot to Nike or Adidas. And yes, guys, Benjamin has been approached by a company. A big, a big sponsorship deal coming up for him right now. Benjamin is now sponsored by Adidas, guys. He is picking up the Adidas Predator 19s. These are the ones that he is going to be using from this point on. It is a big moment for Benjamin, obviously, picking up a huge sponsorship deal with Adidas. Hopefully, that deal is going to help him throughout his career. And today, guys, we have three massive matchups. Bayer Leverkusen, Wolfsburg, and the big derby against Dortmund in today's episode. Let's get straight into the first match of today. And we are starting in the starting lineup, of course. Benjamin has the need to score more goals. And against Leverkusen, this is going to be a very interesting one. The match against Leverkusen begins now. Benjamin, for the first time with his new sponsorship deal, Adidas is the one. Nike wanted the young kid as well, but it seemed like Nike didn't really want to put the money on the line. So I have decided to go with Adidas, who have shown a little bit, a little bit more interest in Benjamin, especially since they are already the sponsor of Argentina. I mean, had it with a great play early on. Can we get this moving into the middle? Yes, we can. Benjamin won't get that, though. And I think you guys don't have any in-game sounds. Hold on. In this game, we are playing with Harit at Cam and Raman next to me. My preferred striker partner so far has been Kutuju, but he's not given the chance over Raman right now. Down the right, they come again with Belarabi. Belarabi's cross into the middle. 
Our team will manage to get this away. Benjamin picks up the pieces and moves it forward here. He has the ball once again. Plays it across to Harit. Gonna make my run inside. Benjamin, Mendil, play to Mendil. No, we're not playing into Mendil then. Gonna play the 1-2 with Harit. Harit doesn't decide to bring it back into me, which I find very odd. I need to start asking for passes more often, man. Um, I'm trying to be very conservative with the asking for the passes, but I think we need to be more aggressive. Now look at that. They have they're playing a 3-6 something right now. This is crazy. Bayer Leverkusen on the radar, you could see it there for a moment, that they were playing with six men in midfield and three men in the defense. Basically a bank of nine just defending at all times. This is going to be hard. Unless they change their tactics, we are going to have a very hard time getting a chance in this massive game against Leverkusen. The first game of the day, I do want to perform well, as we normally do. Normally we do have a good game beginning in the episodes. And Belarabi into Kai Havertz, I think that was. And Benito, play to me, bro. Let's go, Benito. Benjamin, passing it down the wings. Raman again. Raman again. Raman again. Brings it across. Harit on the header. Nearly scores right on the dot. We have gone into half time and Bayer Leverkusen's defense. I really hope they open up in this second half because if not, we are literally going to have one chance again in the second half and not going to do anything with it. 66% possession. Come on, man. Something has to happen in the second half. Are they still playing defensive? Let me check. Bayer Leverkusen is now on a balanced play style. That is good. That is going to help us out to create some attacks. Benjamin, nicely done. Gets it across to his teammate. Harit making a good run. Harit making a good run. Harit, go on. Oh, I mean, Harit. Beginning early on in the 49th minute. When they don't sit back, we do get chances. Good passing play here. As we do get it through to Harit, probably should have played it a little bit further ahead of him, but I was scared that it, were, it might be going into the defender. Benjamin now on the run. He has people chasing him down. Awful pass for me. Yikes, man. Absolutely yikes. Kevin Folland tries his luck. I need to do better there. Benjamin with the one-touch pass. Harit tries to play it through. Benjamin picks it back up again. Still goes through. Has for the ball. Shoots. Oh, my God. What was that? That has to be the worst shot I've ever taken in my life. We're making moves. Good pass over the top. I mean, Harit getting multiple chances throughout this game. Not able to score, but this game has opened up. 30 minutes to go. Come on. Kutuju now coming in for Raman. This is it, boys. This is the perfect timing to bring in the better striker here. Harit plays it back into me. Far post, I'm going for it. Oh my god, yes, let's go. What a strike! Unbelievable. Benjamin has just scored a ridiculous goal in front of the Schalke fans into the far corner. Get in the goal of his career. That has to be the goal of his career so far. Unbelievable. What a goal, dude. Look at that, Harit with the flare pass and Benjamin just curling it around the keeper. No chance for Hradeki. Let's see it again from this beautiful angle. Let's see it. Go on, the technique. Outstanding, out freaking standing. And that, my friends, is a thumbnail. Get him. Oh, come on, Kutuju. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. I tried to hit it into the bottom right. Bayer Leverkusen struggling to stop Benjamin and Kutuju now in the attack as they have to move forward even more than before. Bayer Leverkusen have some space outside the box. They do mess it up though. That is not good passing play from them. Kutuju, Benjamin, Kutuju makes his run. I try to play through into him. Can he fight off Jonathan Ta? Jonathan Ta is a tough one to get past there. What is that though, guys? Come on. Kutuju, I'm right there next to you. Play to me, McKenny. Let's go. Kutuju on the attack. Harit. Harit, I see you. Harit plays it across. McKenny in the middle. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. 85th minute. It is Benjamin. The bullet. He has done it. Get it, boys. Beautiful attack. Look at that. Outside of the boot pass from Harit. 
McKenny sees me down the center. Left-footed strike by Leverkusen. Thank you for coming. I appreciate the three points and the two goals. 11 games, 10 goal contributions for the bullet now at Schalke. He is on form. Get in. Mascarell picks it up. Mascarell picks it up again. Go on, McKenny. The referee blows the whistle. That is apparently a foul. But, guys, I cannot say how happy I am about this matchup. It started off really bad. Three at the back, six in midfield, closed down the passing play of Schalke completely. Then they opened up in the second half and made their biggest mistake in that. And now it is going to be a win. I've lost the ball like 50 times in this game. My rating might still be a 6.5. I'm not kidding. But that is the end. Benjamin with two goals. Man in the match performance against Bayern Leverkusen. Starting off the episode with the goal of his career. Incredible strike from Benjamin in the first goal that we scored. The left footed strike to get the second an unbelievable game, man. Just so, so happy that we managed to win that one. I've lost possession too many times, though. So I have gotten a 6.5. So that just tells you how often I actually lost possession, guys. I should have done better. I need to do better in terms of my dribbling and my choices when I'm moving towards attackers. But a 6.5 rating for two goals, that just tells you. Imagine if I didn't have it. I would probably have a 5.5 or a 5.0. So I'm glad that we scored two goals. Of course, Bayern Munich won their game 4-0, but Eintracht has beaten Dortmund. Dortmund, what happened to you? They have bottled it. Interesting to see. Leipzig and Bayern Munich currently chasing us down. Freiburg now up into that fourth position. The team that wanted to sign us, if you guys remember. Quite interesting to see how well they are doing. Imagine that they would do even better if we were there. But again, now six goals in the Bundesliga, Hope, hopefully it is all in the Bundesliga. I'm going to check real quick. We do have a game coming up in just two days. And then a week after that, we have Dortmund coming up. And you can see how happy that made me, man. I was so glad that we have scored that goal. The first goal, the finesse shot was outstanding. And I couldn't be happy about that. Yes, Benjamin now on six goals in the league. Piatek or Piontek on 10. Lewandowski on eight. This is going to be quite a race for that top spot. I think it was the right decision to put shooting on five now. In hindsight, I think that is a very important thing for us as we try and improve it. Hopefully, maybe in this episode, we can get to an 82. I don't know. That would be crazy. But um, our form is continuing. And that one message that you guys were talking about uh, earlier on where you said... I'm going to get a message that says um, you are now on top form. Do as well as you can to get double XP. I haven't gotten that one yet. I am expecting it in this season. Hopefully it will happen. But also another comment in the last episode from Azani Myers. And he says, when is the evening series going to start? Guys, I've been thinking about this for quite some time now. It's been something that I've been doing uh, that I've been wanting to do quite a lot lately. I am probably going to drop the evening series. I'm thinking about it right now. If, if I'm not going to drop it, you will know, obviously, by me uploading it. I will announce it on Twitter. I will announce it on the channel uh, dashboard and all that stuff, the messages that you guys get. Um, I've been thinking about it, but I want to stream more. I genuinely want to stream more because streaming is so enjoyable and it is just such a good way to get in contact with people talk to everyone in chat like in my youtube comments as you guys know we have like 500 comments every episode i would love to respond to everyone but it's physically not possible so what i try to do is pick up the best or the highest like comments to make sure that the most important things get picked up now i am going to be streaming a lot more in the future and i might be coming up with a schedule as well soon so if you guys make sure to follow me on twitch link in the description down below i want to see hundreds of new followers today because i know that at least twenty-five thousand people are going to be watching this episode if you guys would go over there and follow me to just join in and talk to me when we are playing games and interacting with me and with the people in chat we have such a great community over there so um yeah jump in uh, join us on the twitch channel and that is probably what i'm going to be doing soon with the evening series i am so in love with this benjamin series that i just 
I, I don't want to record anything else right now. Genuinely, I will have to come up with an idea that excites me with FIFA. Right now, there is nothing in my head, but this is what I love doing right now. This Benjamin series is absolutely stunning, and um, I want to stream more. I want to do more on my second channel, the Ultimate Team channel. I want to stream more so, get, so I get more content for Ultimate Team, and that content will then be compromised onto uh, the Ultimate Team channel, which now has like nearly 19,000 subscribers. Link in the description down below as well make sure to follow me on both of those but that is what i want to do until i come up with a series that i can do for this channel to do double uploads again i might as well just do double uploads with benjamin just saying but um here we go next game up against wolfsburg can we continue the great form to then go ahead and play against dortmund let's see you guys you know what we haven't had lately? We haven't had an episode where we have scored in multiple games back to back. Like, I want to have that again. So I'm going to try my hardest in this episode once again to try sc to try and score uh, more goals in multiple matches rather than just getting something done in one match. I would count an assist as well. So a goal contribution works towards this objective, this mini objective that I've, that I've set to myself for today. So uh, hopefully that will work. Wolfsburg not playing too deep, so that can work out for us here. As we go through, Benito, you need to play that through to me, bro. I would have been through and scored already early on into this game. Uh, we have Weghorst playing for Wolfsburg, who is obviously quite the giant. So crosses should be prevented at all costs. Uh, not getting the pass back here, though. Ooh, unbelievable pass. Harit played the ridiculous through ball. And what are these two doing? <laughs> what were they doing? Oh, what a touch that is. Unbelievable. Great ball into me as well. Harit, I'm waiting for your run. Harit, go on. Oh. Uh, one of my key things to do in this match is going to be trying to not lose the ball as often. Because in the last game, I had at least eight possession losses. So I'm going to try and prevent that from happening this time around. As we play a great ball into Brahman, who tries to hit it on the volley in the 19th minute. How did he come up with that one? I guess he realized that the defender was about to pick up the ball from him because of his first touch. He just lobs it up and hits it. Imagine if that goes in. My God. Harit. I'm giving him an opening here. Benjamin plays it back across towards Harit. He's not going to get that. I'm going to push this. Unlucky. We have lost the ball once again. Not too happy with that, to be honest with you. Hello? 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 What is my defender doing? Come on, man. That is horrible play from Wolfsburg. They were through, could have easily scored after I lost the ball in the attack. Once again, not happy with the possession losses, man. That's something I'm really fighting against these at these times. But hopefully we can make up for it with a goal soon enough. There we go. We have people running in behind. Down the right, McKenney. I'm right here, McKenney. Benjamin picks up the ball, plays it inside. I tried to play it into Harit, a horrible pass for myself, lost possession again and then took the shot. My match rating cannot be that nice right now. Into, oh, Benjamin! Oh, we hit it on target, at least for once we've actually hit a header on target. It's been a long time since I've gotten onto a corner kick. Man, did a good pick up. Raman, Raman, making his run. Oh, dude, I am actually horrible. I am genuinely horrible in this game. I have lost possession more times than I did in the last game. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I need to focus up, man. First half, more possession, more chances, but nothing coming off of it. And especially, I myself have made a lot of mistakes in terms of the build-up. Lost the ball way too many times. So I'm going to try and fix that right now with a few short passes. Oh no, Wolfsburg are through! They shoot it right at Nubel. Oh, is that Fairman? I'm not too sure. We get incredibly lucky in that position, guys. We have survived a big attack from Wolfsburg. Harit, go on, Harit. You had that. You had that under control. Let's go, Harit. Lovely. Good work rate defensively as well. Really happy with that. Good to see. And here goes Raman. Raman, a decent little turn. Plays it across to the left. Mendil, I'm right in behind. Mendil with the pass into Benjamin. Benjamin with the pass back to his teammate. We're going. Play to me. Benjamin, good spot. Long range drive. I tried. I tried. Oh no, they played it short. Interesting. Play it. Benjamin, right footed on target. 77 minutes played. Low stamina. Not really the best of performances. Probably one of my worst once again. It just goes so quick from an amazing day with Benjamin to a day where we just struggle big time. 
Beautiful. We have picked up the ball in the attack here. Raman. Playing their cross to my teammate. Play it back. Dude. Play it back. Do the one two. And we score. The game is finished, my friends. An awful game. Oh, my God. I don't even want to talk about it. That was horrific from our squad. More chances than our opponents. I got a 6.5. The best man in the team doesn't mean anything. Just absolutely terrible build-up play today. And uh, even I myself have had a, a nightmare in this game. I'm surprised that I've gotten a 6.5. Two games back-to-back -back, uh, with decent performances from Benjamin. But this one... I'm not happy with. It is only a draw, which allows teams like Bayern Munich, Leipzig, and Dortmund to get closer. Dortmund have beaten Leipzig. Massive game right there, and they have picked up the three points. And Bayern Munich, of course, have won, which means Bayern now have taken over. First position for Bayern Munich as we step up against Dortmund. This is going to be huge. If we bottle it against Bayern right now, guys, I am going to be so upset. Please, let's not bottle it. Big game coming up. Bayern Munich is waiting for us to lose against Dortmund. The derby is happening right now. Any good messages coming in? No, just that we're playing as a centre forward. Here goes the derby. Dortmund, Schalke. Big game, boys. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. There it is, Schalke fans. We are playing at home. This is a game that we can not lose. This is a game that we have to try and win, guys. Schalke stepping up against the yellows coming through. The blues against the yellows. Massive matchup in Germany, as always. Marco Royce is going to be in our opponent's starting lineup. Let's take a look at their full starting lineup. So Dortmund coming in with Erling Brataland, Jaden Sancho, Marco Royce, Emre Can at centre back, Balerdi, Akanji, and Bürki. I am thinking this could be a very good game for Benjamin. I think we could get in behind nicely here if we attack the right players, but I think mostly I'm going to be up against Akanji, who is a fast, fast centre-back. So we have to make the right moves in this game, guys. Schalke against Dortmund. Here it goes. We are attacking. They are playing defensive, it seems. And immediately, Benjamin plays a ball into his opponent. <laughs> you know what I just realised? I'm holding down L2 when I'm playing passes at times, and that leads to manual passing, which then in return leads to absolutely horrific passes. That is, an, that is something that I have from FIFA, where I just keep holding L2. I need to get rid of that. How does he play that through? Schalke, great attack. Erling Brotaland, Nibu, big save. Big, big save right there, man. Dortmund get the first chance in this matchup. They have three incredible attackers and Marco Royce in their team. So we're going to struggle against this side. Hopefully Nastasic can handle Haaland in the middle. Haaland is trying to jump up and Witzel nearly scores. Dortmund with two big chances back to back as Marco Royce's cross is getting dangerous. Oh, Benjamin picked up the pieces here. Benjamin, going for it. I have people making runs in behind. Again, Benjamin in the big derby. Yes! Come on! Come on, boys! We've done it again. The bullet has done it again. Built up the attack himself and scores on top of it. Beautiful play. Absolutely beautiful. Using that sprint to get past Emre Can. Scores in a derby. Scores his goal of the season earlier on. What an episode this is shaping up to be. Great display of strength there from Benjamin. And of course, he's going to do his new signature celebration. Golasso. Come on. Now, Benjamin, with a few one twos, we could be through here. Oh, go on. Go on, that's it. That's it. Benjamin coming in with the cross. Towards Harit, hopefully. Harit on the header. Dude, the crosses from Benjamin are pinpoint accuracy. Unbelievable cross right there. I was aiming right towards him and that cross came right on top of him. That is something that is uh, way better than it is in FIFA, that's for sure. I see a run being made down that left-hand side. Played it through again. Can I get in there? Can I get in there in time? I don't think so. I'm going to get back here. Oh, he's not crossing it towards me. That is a bad pass. I think Burgstaller is playing next to me, which is quite surprising. Cross coming in. That was offside. Oh! Dortmund, you are struggling. 
Dortmund trying to find the equaliser. Diata shoots again. Third chance for Dortmund. Nothing coming from that one. Unlucky lads. Harit plays it across. Buchstaller. Buchstaller, play to me, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Unlucky there. All right, boys. 1-0 up against Dortmund. A massive game so far in terms of chances for both teams. But only one has scored. Of course, it was Benjamin. With less possession, the counter-attacks are working for us right now. Oh, Haaland turns and shoots. A great beginning into the second half. Oh my, what a finish from Erling Braut Haaland. He turns, puts it onto his right foot, finishes it. A clinical finisher as it stands in the books. Unbelievable, man. That is such a good strike. Now Stasic is pushing on the team to try harder in the second half. It's a bad start into the second half for our team, of course. Great play by Jadon Sancho. A sick turn for Haaland and a good finish on top of it. So, yep. We're back to zero. Both teams level once again. Harid's good ball. Down the wings, we have some space. We play the one-twos nicely. Played around to the left. Buchstaller, don't be so selfish, dude. Play to the left. The man was making a great run. Dortmund again. Marco Royce. Oh, no, guys. That's not what we want to see here. Please put in some good tackles now. Put in some good tackles, lads. That's too easy. We're giving them too much space at all times. If we get one more chance, I promise I will score. I promise, okay? Benjamin jumps up and gets a touch on it at least. Buchstaller, I was through! Oh, Benjamin! How did I not score that? Why is he not using his left foot? That is a perfect spot to use your left foot. It doesn't make sense, Benjamin. It doesn't make sense. I promised to score as well. Unbelievable waste of a chance there. That's it. That's the one. Benjamin, straight through into Harit. At least I tried. Instead, he just lets the ball run through, which I don't understand. Benjamin, come on. Make up for it. Make up for it. Yes. Come on. Aguero. Let's go. We have scored. 2-1 in the derby. He steps in into the right spot, putting on the pressure perfectly timed. And then he takes his time to finish it past the goalkeeper. Benjamin, I promised to score and we did it. We freaking did it, boys. What a mistake. Unbelievable mistake. And the whole team of Dortmund is chasing me down. He comes in with the finesse. Yes! Come on! Best episode ever, man! Best episode ever! Now we sit back and defend. Now we sit back and defend, and that is defending for me, boys. We step in as Dortmund tries to get the ball into more dangerous positions. Diata has been subbed in. I do expect Dortmund to play that one over there. We come in to defend. We come in to defend. I'm right here, playing it across to Buchstaller. The one-twos are coming in, flying. He plays it back again, and the game is over. Benjamin Aguero Maradona, the new nightmare of Dortmund. Schalke fans celebrating the squad, and of course, one individual especially has stepped up in a way that was needed to beat this incredibly strong Dortmund side. It was Benjamin. What a game, man. This episode, I swear, this is the best episode. I'm not kidding. This has to be the best episode so far. I'm so freaking proud of him, man. Such a good game. With that win, we still keep up with Bayern Munich. Their goal difference has gone up to 19. They have scored 25 goals this season. I wouldn't be surprised to see Lewandowski catching up to Piontek and becoming the top scorer anytime soon. 6.6 .6 average rating for Benjamin so far at Schalke. In 13 games, we have gotten ourselves 12 goal contributions and our form has been outstanding lately. So I'm very, very happy to see all of that. Hopefully we can carry on with this great form in to the world best player announcement. Who is it going to be? Is it our godfather this time? Yes, it is. Godfather has gotten it, boys. Messi, congratulations. I'm going to play alongside you in the national team once again soon. The Ballon d'Or winner is going to be next to us. And in terms of the goal scoring, we can take a look at it once again as we see if Leva has been scoring too many goals. 
Piontek now on 11, Leva on 9, Benjamin on 8. It's a three-man race right now, and the youngster is doing his absolute best. Came in second twice in his uh, past career, and hopefully at some point we will finally grab that top scorer trophy. But Piontek and Lewandowski are doing an exceptional job. I am addicted, guys. I want to play one more. I am freaking addicted. I am not stopping right now. I need one more game, all right? It's not just going to be three games this episode. We're going to have four. Up against Hoffenheim. Let's freaking do it. Can we get some more goals with Benjamin? He has been on top form. 81 rated. Crazy strikes. I still can't believe he missed that one shot against Dortmund right after I promised to score. So <laughs> I'm still upset about that one. But hopefully that will be fixed soon soon enough with Benjamin taking better shots but here it is can we score more four goals in this episode let's get it to five at least and this is it now we start chasing again second or not second this is the fourth game today and Kutuju is finally playing next to me again Kutuju there's your run there's my run as well unlucky started off nicely though I am very happy every time he plays alongside me uh, we do have a nice partnership going on as Hoffenheim get the first chance of the game. Hoffenheim playing very aggressive in the first half. It seems like they are on attacking, which again is working into Benjamin's favor because we do get loads of counter-attacking chances, which I obviously love uh, to try and chase down. Kutuju, great ball into me. I do get it back again. Harit making his run. I mean, Harit, can he play through to me? No, he cannot. I thought we were in a good spot to do so. Cross coming each. Let's go! Kutuju, my man, has scored! Beautiful cross into him by, I believe, McKenny. And he's back again, scoring goals. Keep him in the starting lineup, man. Please, coach, keep him in there. He's physical. He loves to play a pass into Benjamin. And he is a clinical finisher in front of goal. McKenny plays the ball across to his teammate. And he comes in with a cross beautiful lovely goal to start off the pressure has been taken off and Hoffenheim will have to attack even more good steal by Mascarel here we go again Kabak plays it across Harit making a great run I mean Harit plays it through McKinney McKinney can he score what is he doing what is this guy doing McKinney are you all right bro that's gonna be a goal isn't it that's going to be a goal if we don't put in a tackle right now. Come on, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Harit and the boys. Kutuju. Harit plays it through. Horrible movement. Terrible first touch from Benjamin. I am not playing well in this game so far. And it should be done after this attack. The first half, we have had multiple chances. It is not really the fact that our opponents are sitting deep. It is more the fact that I am not able to create good attacks so far. We are 1-0 up, so that's good. But I do want to see a goal from Benjamin, desperately. I do have enough stamina to deal with it as well. Go on, I'm in the middle! In the middle! What is that? Serdar! Come on, bro. You can't be passing that bad. Expecting a run of McKenny. McKenny. Gonna try and bring it back. Oh no, that's a goal! Kutuju nearly does it again. He comes in with the header this time after a cross of McKenny. A decent little try from our team beginning in the second half. Interesting ball to say the least. Unbelievable, actually. Benjamin now has Kutuju and Harit in support. What a pass that is towards Harit. He's not going to get it under control. Unlucky, and he gets it now. This could be a counter-attacking chance. Benjamin, down the right we play it. McKinney again. McKinney again. McKinney again. Coming in with the cross. Not towards me. Oh, this could be dangerous down the left Hoffenheim do they get this chance in yes or no the cross is coming flying in and the header goes above the target Nubel not too happy once again with the defending from us McKenny has been subbed off Stambouli has come in now into the game which is a bit more of a defensive player than McKenny is McKenny has some attacking prowess on him oh oh whoa 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 stop that step over passing it back Harit Harit Benjamin nice dribbling plays it across Kutuju Kutuju play it to me bro I'm in a perfect spot not too happy with this performance today one minute of added time for Hoffenheim 
But that is going to be the end of the game. We have picked up another three points. Sadly, no goal for Benjamin this time around. A bit unlucky, but at least Kutuju has gotten his good performance in. I do wonder what kind of rating I'm getting. Am I getting a 6.5? That would make me very happy. We get a 6.0. That's still okay. Kutuju deserves to be the man of the match. He, he has played a good game today. And I'm just glad that he's back into the starting lineup. Even though sometimes he does take my shine away, he helps to win games. And at the end of the day, we want to win trophies with Schalke. For a player, the most important thing throughout your career are trophies. That's what it is. You need to get silverware and we need to start doing so with Benjamin. Even though we're only 19, about to turn 20, I want more trophies. So as we win, Bayern Munich have beaten Werder Bremen as well. So congratulations to Bayern Munich. Both teams on 31 points still and the teams below dropping off. Hertha 25, Gladbach 25, Dortmund 25. It is not looking good for all the other teams as we now have 12 goal contributions in 14 games, slowly falling behind the amount of games played. But next up, it's Gladbach. Dude, these games, dude, we just have big game after big game after big game. It is not easy for us right now. But luckily, our team has been performing very well. And this has been my favorite episode to record so far, man. I had so much fun today. That finesse shot at the beginning of the episode, the goals against Dortmund, they meant so much to Benjamin and myself. And of hopefully also for you guys, he is going to that next level of football player, man. He's stepping up in those big games. He messed it up against Bayern Munich in the last episode. In his 100th appearance, he couldn't score one-on-one -on -one against the keeper today he has stepped up big time against Dortmund to push us through in the derby thank you guys so much for watching I cannot wait for the next episode make sure to follow my twitch 100% follow down there in the link in the description and have a great day guys see you next time peace